We've had a digital revolution, but we don't need to keep having it. We can declare success, we won. What's coming now is the digital revolution in fabrication. My colleagues and I started teaching a class called How to Make Almost Anything. And the idea was just that. It's a program looking at how the digital world relates to the physical world. And one of the core things coming out of the research is the idea of digital fabrication, making the Star Trek replicator, an assembler that makes anything you want by building the atoms on up. This is designed where you put in the ribbon. Millions of dollars of equipment at MIT are like the mainframes of digital fabrication. We can make anything we want using those tools. In 20 years, we'll make it so you can have it in the home. The fab labs are in between. They spread all around the world, letting ordinary people create technology from South Africa to the north of Norway and from rural India to inner city Boston. Instead of spending vast amounts of money to send computers and energy and communication around the world, you can spend much less to send the means to create it. Energy, communication, computation, just to say the words, they sound big. They're being tackled as billion dollar mega projects top down. Fab Labs is tackling them from the bottom up. We're just finding so many people with such interesting inventions and such great ideas. Sharing that is where I see this going. Principal Voices, in association with Shell.